Hi, so I need some sort of vacuum and I was thinking about stuff so I can get some cheap vacuum pumps obviously and stuff like that but you need to maintain it if you want to use it for vacuum distillations or something like that so I was thinking about aspirator pumps and you can buy them cheaply also but they are very simple to make so I made this thing so here I got the manometer I will connect this just like like this it will probably leak a little bit but what can you do and turn this on and you can see that you can get quite low pressure there as you can hear it's very quiet so the way this works is you have a nozzle and high pressure water that will make a high velocity water stream and that will pass through some... It would be ideally expanding diameter hole or tube and then just will exit through hose to the some kind of container or outside. So I can just turn the water and this thing will work. There are no moving parts, so nothing is going to break here, only the water will smell with your chemicals. So the obvious downside with this system is that I am using fresh water basically, but you can recirculate it with high pressure pump, but this water can get dirty. However, if you wonder what the water consumption is, I have this I guess one liter bottle. Yeah, it looks like one liter. So I can put this here and start this thing. Okay, that's about it. Okay, so let's start with this thing. Okay, so it seems that I have used this tube in this build and this 2mm outside diameter and I'm not going to measure in the inside but it looks like 1.5 or 1.6 millimeter inside diameter and what I have done is I have used this thing and I have I have threaded this uh, tube through this thing which is a, some kind of bit and then I stick this thing inside this tube and it is nice centered and I soldered the whole thing so that's one way how you can do this. Another option is to use this thing. And let me see if I can hold this. So I can squeeze this. And it will form triangle ho triangular hole. And you can uh, you can basically hold smaller diameters here, and then you can solder that, and it will be relatively centered. And yet, an, yet another option is to use these nozzles for CO2 welder. The problem with these nozzles is that a it's much smaller hole. And you can't really fit it in the tube properly, so you would you would have to machine the thread a little bit and then you can stick it inside and solder it. Here you can see how I try to form a conical basically reduction between one diameter and the another diameter and I would probably try to solder 
this tube right here if I can fit it there well you get the idea I guess I could do this right what the fuck well you get the idea nope okay so let's look at this thing and let's see what's going on there this is the water outlet basically so I should disconnect this thing and you can see that there's this tube which is about 3 millimeter inner diameter and it goes all the way through let me try to yeah you can see it there and there's a hole I basically put a spiral spiral of copper wire inside soldered it and then drilled it so it's smooth and the diameter of that thing is about 2 millimeters I think this spiral wire inside is very short it's about 2 something like there and then I connected this tube which is about 5 millimeter inside like so and just wrapped around some some tape so it doesn't make noises and leak and leak in basically because I guess that could somehow impact performance and finally there's this tube which is not really functional it's just to silence the water that's going out so inside this tea there's this thing which is yeah it's it's probably correct I made this so it's a little bit little bit longer I guess it was like there so it's a little bit longer than the length of the T piece and this thing was in probably like this so like so yeah so you can see that this thing was already almost inside the inside the hole that I made in this in the tube if that does make sense I mean I mean the exact alignment if you don't get it really super correct or the performance is really bad you can try to unscrew this thing like quarter of a turn and look in the manometer what it what it looks like and finally this thing is completely hollow and this is unmodified hose connection basically so these two pieces are only functional pieces that I have to modify somehow another thing that I would recommend is to buy one another this fitting because you will need to center the nozzle inside something and it's quite easy to look from here and you can see how it is centered basically and that's quite important because if you if you splash water inside of this body it will it will absolutely decimate your performance okay so let me get some drills for these things and I will be back okay so to make my life easier I will hold this nozzle inside of this thing and I will drill this by hand I guess I should be true. Yep. And let's check this. Yeah, it's very bad. 
So I've put in a piece of wire. And let's thread this in. Yeah, it's pretty bad still, but I bet if I solder this, it will be fairly straight. So let's try to do this. Should be more than enough. It's quite off center, but what can you do? But I can go straight through this. So I, I would say this is success. Okay, so let's make the second part. And I think I might be true. Yep. Very nice. Okay, so this is final haul basically on this thing. So this should be our configuration. About, about like that. And everything else should be around this thing. So I need to drill a bigger hole, bigger hole there and put this tube through it. About to the half of the thing or whatever probably the less the better so I guess like five millimeters and this does not really have to be centered at all so that's very nice yeah okay and here goes tube OD. This will be this will be interesting. I mean Okay. And how it looks like. Yeah it will need some pressure but it will go there. Okay, so I'm I think we are pretty much done drilling. So now I need about this length of this tube. So, okay, so about, about that much. Okay, we'll clean inside a little tiny bit. Yeah, so we will push this inside. This will probably require a little bit of percussion. Looks like it's not the straightest thing in the world, but I bet it will do the job. So you can 
Now take this fitting and stick this whole thing in there. We'll take a little bit of force, but it should go there. Alright. So here you have it. Okay, so now we need to connect these two things, but there's thread in the way. So that sucks, and we need to remove it, at least part of it, until it fits. Mm, it's turning wrong. Here. Guess this should work. Yep, seems perfect. Okay, just before I solder this together, I will cut this and press it into the fitting. And I will need about, well, that's a good question, so... Right, so I will... I will guesstimate how much I need. Yeah, about that much. Okay. I guess I got lucky because this one is going in almost by hand. Sometimes you really need to press this together very tight, like with chuck or drill press. But I think that I can push this with my hands almost. Maybe you can use percussion, but be gentle on that edge. I will use wise because it's easier to fit in in frame and I don't have to move camera. Yeah, it's getting a little bit tighter. Oh, we are done. Okay, so now we can finally solder this thing together. Alright, I still need to heat copper more this time, so... Oopsie... I should... Should clean up brass a little bit more. This is not looking very... Very nice. Okay, so far this looks quite okay. Doesn't look very centered, but we can fix it. But first let's have a look how much centered is it, or is not. Yeah, so you can see it's pretty much off-center. But well, we can fix this. And that is by sheer brute force. Simply pull this thing to the side. With probably sprites with some tool and that's it. Science. I would say that's quite centered. Maybe it will need a little bit more, but looks good for me. But before we even test this, we will need to solder inside there and there. Worst case, this, this whole thing will slide down. That would be quite terrible. Okay, looks good. Yeah, so this is what it looks like about... You should not try... You should not touch the inside of the copper. 
thingy that we have there. But I guess nothing terrible would happen. Okay, so before we before we assemble this thing, we need to test this thing to check the pattern of the water stream or water jet and if there are some leaks. And if all is good, we can assemble this and test. Okay, I would call this good enough. So let's stick this inside the hole and we'll have to hold it, but it should work. Okay. If you really really want to, you can probably try to clean up this edge, it should be flat. Okay, so as you can see I don't have this extension on the outlet here, so I'm not quite sure how it will perform without it. I haven't done measurement myself, just felt more suckier, if you know what I mean. Okay, so let's go. Pretty good, I would say. Okay, so let's let's crank on some nuts and see what happens. My guess is that absolutely nothing will happen. Okay. Do it some more. No, I'm not sure, man. It was a little bit slower. Oops, it's the other way around. Let's try to add this that extension and see what happens. Okay, so I added some electrical tape there and I will just push this onto that. So it sh should kind of seal well, I guess. And then I will wrap a bit more. Okay. Well, it's definitely quieter. And it looks like it's a bit slower. And the vacuum is a little, little bit higher. Yeah, this one is probably the best I ever built. So it definitely helps to have the extension there. Question is if the if only longer tube would help as much as this. Or maybe some different configuration if it will increase the performance somehow, but uh, I'm not sure. Okay, so that's about all I have for you. Well, actually, it's not. So I made this thing with the 
pump that I made, the aspirator pump. And you can see here that it is evacuated container that it has just water in it. And when I do this, it is clinking inside. And you can see here in this section, when I accelerate it downwards, there will be bubble that it is formed. Yeah, so that's about